Alzheimer's, the most common form of dementia, is the sixth leading cause of death in the U.S. And earlier this year, it took the life of someone close to the KHOU 11 family, the mother of weekend anchor Marcelino Benito. For Hispanic Heritage Month, he is sharing a story close to his heart, helping to help families battling the life-changing disease. There are two days I will never forget. The day my mom was diagnosed and the day I held her hand as she passed away. Now, for years, I watched my mom slowly fade, and in that moment, my family felt so alone. But now I know so many families out there are struggling, and it's impacting my community, Latinos, in dramatic numbers. And it's a problem we cannot ignore. Tears, I don't think, truly ever stop. Outside Marina Castillo's Crosby home, the color purple reminds her of all she lost years ago and what she's still fighting for today. She was like a second mom to you. Yes. Absolutely. Her grandmother, Lupita Gil, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 1997. She witnessed her slow decline as her caregiver up close, confusion and memory loss, until the day she no longer recognized her. Even though she just didn't realize that that little girl is in front of her, she knows and the love that we had, the love that we had never truly went away. Lupita passed away in 2009, 12 years after her diagnosis. Losing such a big person in my life was very difficult. When it finally happens, you kind of just let it all out. Latino families like Marina's and mine are just two of millions touched by Alzheimer's. It's why at the University of Houston, researchers like Dr. Luis Medina are tackling what they call a public health crisis. And right now, there is no cure. By the year 2060, we're expecting about a ninefold increase in Hispanic individuals with Alzheimer's disease. That's more than any other group. In Houston, home to 44% Hispanics, that will pose severe challenges for thousands of families. The impact of this disease ends up really extending well beyond just the individual. The problem is truly troubling in the Rio Grande Valley. It sees some of the highest Alzheimer rates in the country. It's 90% Hispanic. People 65 and up there, nearly twice as likely to be diagnosed with the disease compared to the national average. The estimates that we do have may not be the full picture. Finding out why Hispanics have a higher chance of Alzheimer's is critical to finding a cure. But despite accounting for 18% of the population, only 2% of Alzheimer's trial participants are Latinos. We need to see how the disease acts out in all different types of brains. Look at my finger. At Baylor College of Medicine, Dr. Nora Vanegas Aroyave is working to recruit more Latinos for their ongoing Alzheimer's studies. This is something we're going to have to face at some point. There's still much to learn about the disease and Latinos, but what's clear so far, language, cultural barriers, and access to care are all pieces of the problem. There may be a lot of taboos about participation in research and fear. That fear kept people like my mom from participating. Other Latino families overlook memory loss, wasting critical time without seeing a doctor for diagnosis. When we see the signs, we need to speak up about them. Um, not just brush them off because grandma or grandpa is getting old. It is a painful journey to have to travel, but ask anyone who's lived it, and they'll tell you the disease takes its toll, but cannot destroy everything. They don't forget the love. Right. They don't forget love. They, they know that you are somebody important to them. They know that you're their family. And, and I think that love is always there. My mom certainly didn't forget that love, and I can't put into words how much I miss her every day. Now, if you or your family are facing Alzheimer's right now, please know that you are not alone. There are so many resources out there. So for help or to sign up for clinical studies, just reach out to the Alzheimer's Association. There's a local chapter here in Houston, also a 24-7 hotline at 1-800-272-3900. I have a lot more information up for you right now on KHOU.com. Back to you. Such important information, Marcelino. We thank you for sharing your story and others. Yes, it definitely touches a lot of people going through the very same thing. Very meaningful. Thank you. And as Marcelino mentioned, we have several resources for you online at KHOU.com.